Hello YouTube, Slate Warrior here, and I'm going to be bringing you that Blackwing deck profile that I told you that I'd be uh, bringing you to about two days ago. So yeah, this is the uh, best Blackwing deck profile in my uh, opinion. What I've got here is 18 monsters, we got 11 spells and 11 traps, okay? So, uh, you guys know that I normally try to upload about once a day, and, you know, I, I took a break yesterday, being that, you know, it is uh, the Memorial Day weekend, and uh, the uploads are going to be a little bit inconsistent for about the next week, because I uh, am in high school, and I do have finals next week, so I do have to prepare for that, but uh, you guys don't care about that, <laughs> you just care about the uh, so-called perfect Blackwing deck profile, don't you, alright? So, uh, I'm going to try to keep this quick because uh, Black Wings are a pretty old decks. So you guys uh, know mostly uh, what they do probably but uh, I have a lot of thoughts so I'm gonna try to you know consolidate them and I guess I'm wasting time telling you guys that so let's go okay so Blizzard uh, Blizzard is the uh, supposed the graveyard spell summoner and it is the best second turn play in my opinion so uh, a hand that you might open up with is Shura Black Whirlwind and Kalut. If you get one of those three, then this is definitely the card you're going to search off of your Black Whirlwind when you normal summon your Shira because you have your Kalut and Ander protected from battle, and if it gets destroyed by a card effect, you can just bring it back next turn with Blizzard and then go into a Vulcan or an Armed Wing. Okay, next we've got the Triple Bore, which has Piercing, and it can be supposed to summon like a Gear Gear Accelerator if you control a Black Wing. Uh, it's got 1700 attack, so it can search uh, a lot with Black Roll, and if it's normal summon, it can search your Clutes in your Gale, can search your Zephyros in your Steam. Uh, we play three of them because of the explosiveness that it can have when you have multiples in hand, as well as if you control uh, a Shura or a Zephyros or even another Bora, you can go ahead and go into Master Key Beetle, and if you open up with one of your two safe zones, you'll have the lock. Next we've got Gale. Gale is the best card in the deck. It's the level 3 tuner that can be special summoned if you control Blackwing. And it has an amazing effect for any deck. It can have the attack and defense of a monster your opponent controls. Uh, it is level 3 so it goes easily into Black Rose or Moonlight Rose Dragon as well as Armor Master uh, with any of your level 4s. And if you have a Clute on board you can make your uh, level 6s. I'm sorry, that's not level 6, that is. Okay, so next we've got the Triple Clute, which is the best battle reactive hand trap in the game, in my opinion. And that is for two reasons. One is that, unlike cards like uh, Honest, which I guess it's at 1 anyway, but cards like Honest and uh, Bujinji Crane, Clute can stack. You can have a monster battling, and you can have it gain 4,200 attack by dropping three Clutes, which is pretty crazy. I mean, you can get a steam up to a 5,000 attack. And the second reason that it's the best is that you can use this when it attacks directly. As you can see, it says when a blocking monster you control is attacking or being attacked. So a direct attack would count. So you can go ahead and, like I said, you can get your steam up to 5,000 attack and do 5,000 attack in one turn with your uh, steam and your triple clute. Shura, Shura is the uh, it's the 1800 uh, attack monster that special summons from the deck. Uh, 1500 or less attack when it destroys a monster, uh, opponent's monster battle. We play three because it's got 1800 attack, like I said. So it can search everything, every black wing in the deck besides. Sirocco with Black Whirlwind. We play Triple Sirocco because it gets over some important things in the game like uh, Bujin Yamato, Chronomaly Nebra Disc, just by attacking over them, uh, Trap Tricks from Mello. You can get over any of those with its 2000 attack. And it can search. And uh, since it's uh, level 5, uh, you'd think that you'd have to tribute a summon for it, but it has an effect that says if you're controls a monster, you control none, you can normal summon it. And because it's a normal summon, you can get your search off of Black Whirlwind. So Sirocco is a really good card. Plus, it has an effect that says you can. Uh, target a black wing you control and then it, it uh, its attack becomes the combined attack of all black wings you control so that is a good way to get over uh, higher attack monsters we play a single steam now steam is uh, uh, the other level 3 tuner that we play and we'd only have to play one if it weren't for or, uh, I'm sorry we'd have to we'd play no steam if it weren't for the fact that uh, gale was at one we'd obviously play two gale if we had two gale and we wouldn't play the steam but steam is okay uh, if it leaves the field you can spell someone a steam token and if it's in the graveyard, once per duel, you contribute a monster, special summon it from the graveyard. And if it's special summon that way, uh, every synchro summon you conduct with Steam has to be only using Blackwing monsters. So a really good combo with Steam is that uh, you can synchro summon with Steam and any of your level 4 Blackwings or, you know, any other level 4 monster you decide to play. But in this deck, you just level 4 Blackwings for uh, Armor Master and then you'll get a steam token then you can then tribute that steam token to special summon your steam from the graveyard and make uh, Leo 
because you use only black wings as material even though you didn't synchro summon for black wing you don't have to uh, you can also use the steam token for synchro summoning or uh, you know other uses you can uh, just use it with uh, your gale or your blizzards to make a synchro summon with that but notice that it is not a black wing monster it's just an uh, aqua wind level one uh, with 100 attack 100 defense it's called steam token uh, so it's level one and finally we play the uh, obligatory Zephyros because Zephyros is great in many decks. I, I happen to play one in my uh, ZW Utopia deck. But yeah, you guys know what Zephyros does. You can return a face-up card you control to the hand, spell someone from the graveyard, and take 400 damage. You can only use it once per duel. It's good in this deck because Black Whirlwind is going to be on the field most of the time. And if it's not, you're probably going to lose anyway. Black Whirlwind is the uh, best searcher in the game in my opinion, but I'll get to that when I get to that. Dark Arm Dragon because all these we play are darks. And uh, Dark Arm is really, really good. 2800 attack with a really nice destruction effect that is not once per turn. Allure of Darkness again because everything we play is dark. Black Whirlwind, we have to play triple of this or it's not Black Wings. It's at 3 in the TCG unlike the OCG where it's at 2 so why not play 3? Uh, it's our searcher of course and what it does is when you normal summon a Black Wing you can add a Black Wing from your deck to your hand with less attack than that Black Wing and it does stack if you have multiples in the field. Um, the thing about this card and Zephyros is that since Zephyros returns uh, a face-up card you control the hand, you just return this to your hand, special summon your Zephyros, and then activate it again. Um, it's not like uh, Vulcan the Divine, where when you return to the hand, you can't activate cards with that name for the rest of the turn, but uh, you can return it anyway. Like, you can still return it with your uh, Vulcan. That's why Vulcan's really good in this deck, because, again, you're always going to have the Black Whirlwind face-up. We play one Chalice, because... Uh, artifacts are meta and what we can do is hold the chalice until the end phase and then when the artifacts decide to make all their plays in the end phase we can activate the chalice from our hand and negate it which really messes up their plays mind control because we play a very diverse extra deck we play monsters from level 5 to level 10 in terms of synchros so if we have a tuner on the field we can mind control and then make a synchro and then they don't get their monster back um, MST just a single MST because we have Icarus attacks for destroying spell traps as well as one delta crow I side the other two as you can see but we'll get to that later uh, triple pot. Of, oh, and also because of you know artifacts. Triple pot of duality because uh, this had to be a control deck. I tried to make it uh, a faster deck. I played uh, Birdman's. I tested some different synchro monsters. I played the new card Oroshi, uh, but it just it's not as good without three Gale or even two Gale. Just one Gale doesn't makes it so we can't really spam the field as well as we'd like to. So triple duality for consistency and to get onto those black world ones as fast as we possibly can as well as the Shuras to uh, utilize our Black Whirlwinds to maximum efficiency on the first turn. If we're going second, we, you know, we want the Sirocco, but first, we definitely want the Shura. Uh, one Soul Charge, because Soul Charge is good in pretty much every deck this format, and uh, we don't need multiples because we are a control deck. Like I said, we aren't really a spam deck. I had been testing two Soul Charge, but you know I grew two at the same time with 1800 life points, and you know that wasn't very good. We don't play any discard outlets in this deck. One Black Horn of Heaven, because Black Horn of Heaven is essentially your second Solemn Warning in this format. I mean, there aren't very many uh, spell summons that start a chain, so, you know, Black Horn of Heaven is a really good way to get over them. Uh, Black Sonic, I play one, because a lot of the time we aren't going to have a Black Wing monster face up. I mean, we can definitely just sit on Shura with Kalut in hand, uh, Black Whirlwind for searching, and then Icarus attack to back it all up. Uh, we could even safe zone a Sirocco if we need to, uh, but... Black Sonic is pretty much only at one because uh, we are going to most of the time have some synchros on board. Okay, bottomless trap hole because yeah, uh, Delta Crow because it is the Harpy's Feather Duster of the deck except it only destroys set cards and you can activate it from the hand if you control exactly three Black Wings, which is not something that happens often, especially now that we're playing more of a control build. Double Icarus because uh, we don't play. Th Three because we don't have black wings on the field that we want to tribute that much. I mean, you can also tribute the armor master and the armor wing from the extra deck. Like I said, we go into extra deck monsters a lot, but that is not a very wise thing in my opinion. I think that most of the time, if we're just sitting on Icarus and Shura, that is good. But if we want to synchro, then the Icarus is going to be dead. Double safe zone because Master Key Beetle safe zone is such an amazing lock, especially if you can get it off first turn with your special summoning of this and your normal summoning of this and your searching. What you can do is you can, if you have black wing, uh, black whirlwind and Shura, you know you can go ahead and Normal summon the Shara, search your Bora, and make your Master Key Beetle, set your safe zone, your setup. From that point, you're in a very winning position. Solemn Warning, because Solemn Warning is still good. I mean, it negates every kind of summon. Uh, Torrential, because we can afford the loss of Monster, especially when you have an Icarus attack to chain to it, to get rid of their back row as well. And Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare, 
because uh, as you guys have been seeing, it is good against artifacts and people are starting to play it. I love this card. Uh, I don't I don't play the Mermelo to search it. We don't really have the room. Uh, plus, you know, Mermelo isn't really a card that we can search off of Black Whirlwind. So Trap Chicks, Trap Will Nightmare is still just a great card to have in any deck this format because it stops those artifacts and, you know, it gets rid of them. It, it doesn't just negate, it also destroys, like Divine Wrath. I mean... Uh, a monster that's plus summons that's going to activate an effect is uh, a common thing in this format. So Trap Chick Trap Pull Nightmare is a very good card. Next for the extra deck, we play the two level fives, Armadies and Ally Justice Cataster. We had the uh, Reincarnation Dragon Samsara, but it really isn't that good in this deck. There aren't very many cards that you're going to want to be plus summoning from the graveyard. I mean, you know, we can't uh, plus summon Dark Arm Dragon from the graveyard because... It says it has to be spell summoned from your hand. So, you know, that's the only r real card that I think we really need to be spell summoning from the graveyard. I mean, I guess we have some, you know, Moonlit Rose Beals would be pretty nice. But, you know, Reincarnation Dragon Samsara is not a card that tested well for me. Plus, the only way to go into fives is with your Gale and Steam, or Steam, and, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> with your, uh, your Blizzard and your Kalutes. That's the only way. So, you normal summon uh, Blizzard, go into Kalute that you used. Uh, another thing is, I don't really like searching the Kalutes to summon. I like uh, searching the Kalutes to discard for uh, the attack gain. So, uh, again, we can go Blizzard into the Kalute that's already in the graveyard to go into these. Uh, Beals, because we have the special summonable Gale with the normal summonable Sirocco. Uh And, you know, Beals is really strong. Black Rose, because I know you're going to say, you know, artifacts. Oh, you don't want to be using Black Rose against artifacts. So we won't use Black Rose against artifacts. We can go into, you know, Armor Master or Moonlight Rose. Armor Master Safe Zone is still a really great combo. So Black Rose is still a necessity in any extra deck that can make sevens. Armed Wing, because it's one of our two Black Wing extra deck monsters that are good enough to play. And, you know, we got Blizzard combo into any of our level fours. Armor Master, like I said, with Safe Zone, it's crazy. It, ha it can destroy any monster that it attacked, and you don't take any battle damage. Plus, it can't be destroyed by battle, just like Beals. Uh, Leo, because I already gave you guys the Steam combo to get into it, and there are other ways we can get into it too. It's really good. It's not uh, its ability not to be targeted is really great, especially because Phoenix Chain is not as prevalent now. Mistworm, because we can go into it, and when its effect goes off, you're in a really great position, especially if the Mistworm stays in the field when its effect goes off. Moonlit Rose Dragon, because if you're playing uh, any Synchro deck, it shuts it down for the rest of the duel. Uh, plus, on its uh, initial special summon, you can. Uh, get rid of uh, one monster, so it's guaranteed to get rid of one special summon monster if you special summon it while your opponent has a special summon monster, unless it gets like Solemn or Blackhorn, that's why Blackhorn is really good. Uh, Stardust Dragon, because it shuts down artifacts, and we can go into it with the uh, aforementioned Gale, Sirocco thing. We play Vulcan because I told you we can bounce the Whirlwind, even though we can't activate the Whirlwind, we can just activate the next turn we want to normal summon a Blackwing. Cowboy. Now, <sighs> Cowboy is really for after Soul Charge when uh, I just have two level four black wings in the graveyard, I have my opponent down at the end. I've still charged too many times and noticed that I had two level four black wings without a cowboy in the extra deck. I, I know cowboy's really not a card that I want to be playing in a heavy synchro deck, but I can go into it with any of my level fours, especially some in the Bora. Cowboy's just too good not to play and it can get over uh, some big monsters too. Twenty nine hundred attack or less you can get over it with this first effect. Uh, zero fine because we play Winged Beasts and we have a lot of face-up cards in the field all the time. Silent Honor Arc because it's mandatory and the aforementioned Master Key Beetle. Save Zone Lock is easy to get into. Side deck now we got double DD Crow because uh, DD Crow is good this format. You can banish those Soul Charge targets. Every meta deck is playing out of the graveyard. I mean you can banish tons of cards. Those Graphas before they declare the summon condition because it's not an effect. It is a summon condition that does not start a chain. Uh, Maxi, because there are a lot of heavy special summon decks, even though I guess the hat deck doesn't necessarily do that that often. You do get the uh, end phase artifacts like I was talking about. This is, of course, uh, a, an effect that we use in either player's turn, so you know you can still use Maxi against the hat deck or uh, Trap Tricks Hands artifacts or whatever you want to call it. Uh, there are still a ton of uh, special summon spam decks. Dark Hole before, before going second. Uh, Defissure and Macro, because we can just side out the Blizzards if we don't need them. I mean, we don't even need to sign out the blizzards. There are tons of uh, decks that are hurt by these cards, so you know we can definitely side them in. We do not rely on the graveyard all that much. Double MST because we main we made one. Uh, double Blackhorn because we main one, and I really do believe in Blackhorn this format. Double Goes and Match because we play a ton of darks, and double Neo Sealing again, just like the Maxis for those spam decks. I mean, even without those spam decks, I mean four or more monsters in the field. That is not something that doesn't happen that often, so it essentially just becomes another torrential. All right. 
thank you for watching. I really do think this is the best Blackwing video uh, deck profile. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more. Uh, favorite if you liked it that much. And I will see you guys later. YouTube 15 minute time limit screencast automatic.